Hey guys! Alright guys, we're here today to do a Patreon request from this patron right here. Ask us to check out a band called Mara. The name of the song is Label Me Insane and I didn't do any homework whatsoever. But I do dig the name of the song, Label Me Insane. Yeah. I guess you could label me a lot of things. Insane? It's probably one of them. Probably one of them, I would say. I think your mother would agree that sometimes she's like, what the fuck? Like, like where did you come up with that idea? You know? And when you guys hear me playing FIFA, you guys definitely... Label me insane. You're, you're, you're a nightmare. You're screaming like your freaking lungs off, banging on the floor, making all sorts oh, of noise. That's not the floor, it's the couch. All right. You're, you're definitely insane. I'm, I'm definitely, definitely insane. labeling you insane. All right, let's see how this song goes. Are you ready for this? Yeah. All right, let's do this.
Can I go first on this? Sure. The song is Label Me Insane. When they went from her walking, like, outside, like, she looked like she ran away from the asylum, right? The first person you see is the drummer. He looked insane. Actually, he looked like the missing link in the in the theory of evolution. Like, he's the Neanderthal that we're still looking for in order to find out the proper uh, human genome. He looked like he was, like, you know, like, he looked like the guy from the Gecko commercials. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah. The way the hair was, the way he looked, he looked absolutely insane. Like Anyways, he's buff with the hair. And just... I don't know if he's buffed. He's a big guy. A big uh, guy. Let's not push it here on the buffness. Beefcake. <laughs> Anyways, I saw his face. His <laughs> hair. Park, his man. hair looks like he stuck his fingers in an outlet because it's kind of yeah, like yeah. bushy, right? And he just looks insane. I'm like, wow, this couldn't have gotten any better. Like the first shot that I get is is from the dude, from everybody on the band. He's the guy who looks the the most, the most insane. insane. And the way he plays, he plays insane, dude. The drumming on this track are absolutely outstanding. The drumming on this track is outstanding. I love the heaviness that it has. The, those portions, even when the solo is going oh, on, and he, and he's, so heavy. He's still ripping it up. So heavy. Yeah. But the drums, the overall, the way the drums sound on this track is just absolutely insane. All right. I have a few other things to say, but uh, what are your thoughts? Uh, I mean, the yeah, the drums probably my favorite part of the song. But I also really like the... The, the guitar, especially the the chorus with her voice in the chorus. I liked actually the verses more because it had that, that Pantera grooviness yeah, yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, with the... the yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, you know how much I love that shit. I love it. I love it. I love that shit. And, but, but the chorus, I really like her, her harsh vocals. But in the chorus, I, I guess she kind of softened up a bit but it, I, I really I really dig the she chorus. has a great voice she has a really good voice I, I like both the clean vocals and, and I like the harsh, harsh vocals because her clean vocals weren't clean they were kind of like they still had they that still had a little rugged, bit of ruggedness yeah, to yeah. it they had a little bit of ruggedness to it but the harsh vocals are she, she, she has a really interesting range and she used it without within the song like she went in different areas with it I like her voice and in, in for a song that has this kind of grooviness I like the fact that the the because the song is very diverse. It's, it's the song has different moments, right? Heavier moments, more groovier moments. There's a little bit of everything there. The solo was impeccable as well. I really like the solo. Uh, almost, I was not expecting the solo to be as as almost like a, a classic heavy metal style solo for a track like this. I was expecting something a little bit more dirty, if you yeah. will, and it was a little bit more polished. I like that. Yeah, I thought it was gonna have more of the. Um... Of like the Pantera stuff that there was in the verses. Me too. That's what I'm saying. I, I was expecting to be a little bit more the way the, the song was in the verses. I was expecting the soul to kind of carry that. But the soul went more towards almost like a classic heavy metal approach. And I like that. The chorus. Yeah, I, I, I like the dynamic musically. The dynamic of the track is really interesting. Now, what I like about the vocals is that she went the same way. It's not like a one size fits all. The way the song starts, this is going to be the vocals that I'm going to use for the rest of the song, regardless of what's happening. She changed depending on where the music was going. Was taking her, yeah. The chorus was almost more melodic, almost catchy and hooky. And her voice added to that to that effect because she had a, the, that more clean approach. Uh, it, 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 it had that uh, easy listening feel to it. So yeah. it made the chorus more uh, easy to digest, if you will. And more of the radio friendly. I was I was I was gonna say poppy, but yeah, the radio friendly approach. I agree hundred percent. But she also were able, was able to change. When the song got more groovier, she got a little bit heavier with the vocals. She changed. Then sometimes she went really heavy with the vocals. So I, I like it because it's a song that musically is very dynamic, but vocally is also mm -hmm. very dynamic. Yeah. And I, I I love the grooviness that this track has. I love the groove. Every time I hear that guitar, you know, yeah. I just. I, but the drums. If I had to pick one thing above all else that it really impressed me was the drums. Yeah. Just outstanding drumming on this track. So powerful, so heavy. Don't you agree? Yeah. Yeah. The bass player, I, th I thought he was wearing shorts, right? Yeah. He, I, when I was watching the video, I'm like, man, you know what would be really cool? If he was dressed like Angus Young from ACDC with a school kid outfit. Oh, with the, the hat? With the hat and the shorts. The and the Yashin cap? And the, and the, and the, uh, the, the vest. And playing the oh that would be so cool that would have been so yeah cool. he was going crazy I love that in, um, in music videos when the bass just goes crazy yeah he, he was he was grooving and and the bass added to the grooviness that the song had the song is very groovy I yeah. I just really like it I really like this track uh, and it has a nice tempo to it it's 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 heavy but it's still a beat at the same time yeah. it's just really really well put together track all right guys this is it for today thank you for the patron that asked us to check out this video. Come back tomorrow, we'll have more videos for you. See you guys. See ya.